Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Well today I'm checking out the Bushnell 3 to 12 by 40 SF3 BDC Rimfire Optic. So I thought I'd leave it in the box guys. Um, I've not even opened this so um, let's open it and see what's inside. So it looks like we've got the uh, manual there, an actual uh, lens cleaner, and some other stuff about registering the uh, optic. I've got a turret there, the optic, another turret, and just a little Allen uh, key. So we'll just undo these turrets. Okay, so the scope itself here comes with a uh, set of lens covers. Now it is a uh, matte black finish. Now it's a one inch tube this, so uh, it is made from aluminium alloy. I don't know what type though. Um, they didn't state it in the specs, but uh, they do say that it's virtually scratch proof and uh, you know very, very durable. So we'll just take their word on that, I guess. Now uh, the weight of it, 20 ounces or 570 grams, so there's a little bit of weight in it. Um, but then again, being a 3 to 12 by 40 optic, it's not exactly a close range optic, is it? Um, you know, it'd be ideal to put on, um, you know, a good little um, plinking 22 where you want to shoot sort of long distance and have a bit of fun. Now the length of it is 12 inches or 30 centimetres. And there's a fairly generous eye relief, uh, 3.9 inches or 10 centimetres. So, um, Look, you know, not really required for a rim fire, but I don't like optics where you've got to basically put your eye right up to it, you know, to be able to get that uh, clear picture. Now it's a quarter MOA click value, so you know you'll be able to dial it in for some nice accurate shooting. The uh, lenses are uh, multi-coated, so you know they're going to um, minimise the, uh, I guess, um, uh, reflection and glare and uh, it's also waterproof and fog proof. Comes with the uh, Multi-X uh, reticle in the second focal plane. So what that means guys is basically that um, as you go through the magnification range, the actual reticle will stay the same size. Now it's got a uh, side focus here from uh, 10 yards to infinity. So obviously that's really good. You know, your parallax, you can adjust it there and um, you know, basically get that ultimate um, you know, clear and steady uh, sight picture. Now the ballistic turrets uh, here are available in 22 and 17 HMR by the look of it. So it's clearly marked there, 22 LR and 17. So let me just bring them up a little bit closer for you so you can see them there. So uh, yeah, pretty good. Obviously, it, I don't know exactly. I imagine it would be just a standard uh, 22 round, so probably 40 grain. Um, let's see if it says it in the manual here because basically it didn't say anything about it um, online. So there we go, guys. Um, it's got in the manual here the different um, ammunition that it's uh, basically dialed for, okay? So there's actually quite a few different ones there, so which is pretty good. So we've got several there of 22LR and several of the 17 HMR. So the scope is fairly cheap guys, uh, recommended retail price around that $200 price point. I've seen these uh, cheaper and I've also seen them just a little bit more expensive than $200. Um, they're made in China, so uh, look, you know, don't expect a uh, you know, ridiculously high quality expensive scope with this. Um, you know, it is what it is. So I think for uh, 22 shooting, um, it'll be ideal. So let's get out on the farm now, let's get it uh, mounted up and um, 
have a bit of fun with this scope and put it through a few different tests. Okay guys, so we've got the Bushnell on top of the Anschutz 1710 TAC rifle. Obviously this rifle is very, very accurate, so that's why I thought I'd do the test with it. So we'll get it signed in to start with at 75 yards, and then uh, from there, the top turret obviously should be pretty much uh, right on using SK Standard Plus to go out to 100, 125, and 150 yards there with that turret. So that's what we're going to test, but I'll get the scope cam mounted once I've got it sighted in at 75, and I'll just give you a look across the dam, and then, you know, just uh, further down range, just so you've just got an idea of what it looks like to look through the glass on this scope. So let's get to it. So looking at the dam here, you can see the ripples, you know, on the dam, like it's a fairly uh, clear scope. So let's go ahead now and take a few shots. Okay, so there's the first can there guys at uh, 125. And then when we move up a little bit here, you'll see the second can there at 150. So we'll move back just a bit to try to get both of them in the shot. And we'll move the uh, turret up to 125 and then to 150 respectively and take a couple of shots. First hit, that was good. Okay, so now up to 150. Okay, we fell just short. It was about uh, five o'clock. Let's try again. We got a little bit of crosswind coming across there now. So we'll just aim directly in the middle of the can and just see how much closer we get. Okay, so we're right on, but over at uh, 3 o'clock, so we do have the wind coming from left to right, so I'll just have to compensate a little bit for that, see how we go this uh, third shot. And there we go, right on. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay guys, I'm going to finish up my final thoughts on the Bushnell Rimfire Optic. Now this scope, I must admit I was a little bit sceptical because I, I really don't like a lot of Chinese or uh, Filipino made scopes. So, um, you know, there's a little bit of bias. However, I have to be fair and honest when I review products, guys, and I review them honestly exactly how they perform for me at the time. So I can't fault it. It performed perfectly. You know, it's a nice clear optic price point. I mean, how can you argue with that? You know, $200, um, definitely you can't argue with that. And the uh, accuracy there of the turret, um, you know, for the 22 LR cartridge was spot on. I mean, you know, if I can hit a uh, rimfire spinner at uh, 75 and 100 and then a can at 125 and 150, I mean, like, honestly, you can't argue with that sort of accuracy, you know, with the scope. So, look, overall, guys, I, I really don't have a fault of it. Um, you know, like I say, for the price, you really can't go past it. So if you want a good little scope where you can have those uh, bullet uh, compensators on the turret there. Honestly, have a look at this one. I'm sure you'd be quite happy with it. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. So till next time, we'll catch you then.